Take over our sniper. If there's any uh, people to be sniped, it's gonna be right now. I mean, these are all just riflemen. We can focus toward our leader, the SMG guy. There. We've got some more infantry here. If there's any machine gunners, I would focus those, but it doesn't look like there's any. Oh, sniped him. <laughs> there we go. Reload, reload, aim. Yes, perfect. This guy is getting a bunch of kills now. That's great. All right, howdy, boyos. Welcome back to more Gates of Hell. A while back, I started a new Soviet modded campaign using some graphics mods and also mostly, of course, using the sound and damage overhaul mod by Hang 'em High and the new sort of it adds just a bunch of different things a lot of new infantry squads and also a bunch of new vehicles that are hidden in vanilla conquest for the time being so we have uh, well you can see it right here s 100s is2 1944s we have just a bunch of new stuff here but mostly i'm excited to go eventually to go for this is2 hunt um but the infantry is also what's really cool where they just added a bunch of new infantry units that we can mess around with uh they're just set up differently. Uh, I'll link all of this in the description below, so I'm going to check out any of these mods that are going to be right there. I figured we could start the little intro here in this screen, because I haven't made a video on this campaign in quite a long time. We only did two battles here uh, as well, so this is only the third day. We already have one of these awesome 76mm F-22 divisional guns. I say awesome because I'm hoping they do a little bit more for me than they did in the multiplayer game. I played against Hang 'em High a long time ago where this thing was just absolute garbage. We have three squads of riflemen, which hopefully will be uh, decent enough for the third battle. And then we have an AT detachment, a machine gun M-1931 T-26, a cannon mounted t26 and my favorite a little sniper i'm playing on the clinton airfield map so we're going to go ahead and start the battle hopefully this goes well all right this is a little i think honestly kind of a nice starting army i'm pretty much uh gonna have to rely on this 76 mil in case anything big comes our way but i'm, uh, I'm pretty confident and i gotta say i've been really actually enjoying uh, playing with this uh, sort of enhanced squad mod. Um, it just uh, adds a couple more things, and it's very nice uh, to see larger squads with some even with medics inside of them, making it a little bit uh, less micro-heavy uh, on having to also micro in certain squad, uh, like stuff like medics, um, to go alongside with your squads. So very basic. Just wanted to quickly let you know that if this video gets 300 likes, uh, we'll continue this campaign um this for me is a very nice way of figuring out what people want to see what people are less interested in seeing um so if you like this and you want to see more of it just hit that like button and uh, we'll go ahead and start the battle i think what we could do here is probably divide up our units so we'll send two squads with a divisional gun to go to the left point we'll send both tanks and the uh, one squad to the right point I guess the enter tank rifle squad can go to the left as well and the sniper can go all the way out here a little wide so we can get a little bit more uh you know eyes on the stuff there's actually i think i might have picked up an anti tank rifle this looks like a panzerbüchse on one of the uh, riflemen in the squads going sent to the left that's okay though i'm not sure if the divisional gun had i think it had pretty decent he capabilities just because it's a 76 mil um, obviously, if it was a Soviet 57 millimeter, I would be a little less uh, potentially impressed by the uh, HE capabilities. All right, so sniper is heading out. We'll uh, dismount our gun. Say if we can. Yeah, we actually have a good amount of HE too. All right, our tanks gonna start engaging. Make sure we watch out for any anti-tank riflemen. But with our infantry here, we can uh, advance ahead of the armor, and our sniper can try and get some flanking shots in, which I think would be pretty good and then we'll start crawling forward all of our infantry here we'll start engaging this position okay i was uh, kind of cool and pounced off the ground but i obviously want to make sure i use he for this in the future then not a uh, ap that it doesn't really seem very effective all right and let's start moving up so obviously i have been playing gates of hell quite a bit and what I've mostly been doing, honestly, in Gates of Hell is, is actually play a lot of co-op with my buddies. 
Now, co-op conquest is a little... Ah, oh, crap, I was hoping you would stop right there. Oof, you got headshotted. Co-op conquest is definitely a little buggier than uh, conquest playing by yourself. So I'm hoping I can pick up some enemy weapons. Is that a headshot worthy shot right there? Ah, crap. Oh, well, that worked for us. Okay, that worked out. Um, I definitely noticed that co-op conquest, a little more buggy, a little less reliable, uh, I suppose, than, than like you know playing conquest by yourself in single player, uh, like basically what I'm doing right now. Uh, personally, I haven't really encountered any game-breaking stuff. It's just relatively basic things, like sometimes vehicles not actually being captured when you capture them in co-op uh or um well, i guess what i've mostly noticed is just some desync issues especially with medicking uh, people which kind of can be a little frustrating um if you spend a lot of money on uh on like a good unit like for example like a bx jaeger or a falschim jaeger unlock um, it can be a little frustrating to to lose infantry for no reason other than it's a little desynky but hey you know game is I was hoping to get that in the trench there. The game is out, and uh, they've just actually just... Ooh, that was a good hit. Just literally yesterday released a new update for the game, um, which actually did a quite a, a few things. And mostly, apparently, as far as I read the patch notes, uh, made artillery a little less good, which is, I think, always a very good thing, because people tend to complain um, a lot about artillery in, in Men of War, and, and I guess just in any GEM game. Um, so it's good to see that they're actively trying to work on figuring out a way to make it a little less frustrating uh, for people to to fight against artillery. Uh, this is mostly obviously a multiplayer thing, not so much uh, for you know in single player. You just have to deal with the artillery the enemy has. But in multiplayer, artillery is definitely a huge a huge thing, and it's good to see that they're actively trying to work on making it a little less strong. Uh, so to say, I guess we are actually very capable of holding this uh, this position. This was a triple star battle, so I'm happy if this ends up like that. Uh, we can uh, our 76 mil is pretty effective. I mean, this is an open field; and they can just blast 76 millimeter rounds at enemy forces in the back. There, what we'll do we'll keep this squad more as a support unit uh, from a distance. We'll actually have them all reload real quick. Uh, we'll have to we'll keep them here. We have the machine gunner who's supported by a bunch of infantry with extra ammo. Um, and then we'll crawl this squad into the point. And I'm hoping that we can basically just sit here and uh, take an easy W, as the kids would say. Uh, I'm not opposed to easy Ws earlier on in the, in the conquest. There are, honestly, it kind of annoys me, there are so many cool mods for uh, Gates of Hell and Conquest that I want to check out. One of them just made it absolutely look crazy how uh, I saw screenshots of people who would kill over 1,500 enemies in one of their first battles in Conquest. So there's a lot of things that I still want to take a look at. Is it actually a Panzer Bukshi? Yes, it is. Uh, there's definitely a lot of things I still want to take a look at at Conquest. I'm trying to obviously find a nice balance between um, having fun and keeping it interesting uh, while also not having, you know, 19 hour battles. Because no one wants to see me. Well, that's not true. I know there's going to be some freak in the comments saying, Oh, I'd love to see you play a 19 hour battle. And I'll be like, no, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be mentally checked out after the first three. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, th there, there's some cool mods. And I'm really hoping. Ooh, that was a good snipe. We, the, oh, what's that? Oh, it's a Kubel. Okay, well, that's not a huge issue. Um, no, but I, I'll, I'm definitely interested to see, uh, to check out some, oh, that's horrible and accurate, to check out some other mods and uh, hopefully between um, myself and you guys in the comments we can find, uh, that's super inaccurate for some reason, hopefully between uh, you guys in the comments and myself we can find a nice balance between like what feels good, what feels fun, what feels in interesting to watch, um, and what feels maybe a little grindy or a little... Over, uh, overpowering. I just realized this guy has a MP40 as well. I must have grabbed for him at some point. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping... Just look at the amount of shells this 76 fired this battle. This is going to be a pretty easy battle. Thank God, because uh, this is my first time playing Gates of Hell uh, by myself in a very long time. Like I said, I've been playing lots of co-op conquests with my buddies. I haven't edited a single one of those videos, and there is definitely a lot that I still need to edit off of that but that was a good battle i don't think we lost anyone the two people we did lose uh we were capable of um oh that's awesome we were capable of uh, of healing so yeah we only have to spend some ammo points 
Now let's take a look. We have eight research points. I'm thinking we might want to spend these a little smarter. So we could get guards rifle, assault sappers. Okay. Well, let's let's do three points towards guards. Scroll down. We can get the 76 millimeter Zis. Oh, we can get an SU-76. That would be a good unit to get off the bat. Just a good tank destroyer. Uh, I mean, the Z the hundred, the, the BIS three or the BS three a little bit on the overpowered side right now, because we're only going up against very light armored units. Uh, we could spend two more points here in a T26, or we could get ourselves a T28 right away if we don't get the 76 mil. Which honestly, I really went down this line down here. I didn't do that in any of my other conquest campaigns as the Soviets yet, because I've wanted to get to the KV-1s. Um, KV-2s, obviously, get to the IS line. This might be just a couple of battles and we'll be really high high up there. So really, my goal is to get a KV-1s or perhaps an upgrade to it to get the KV-1-1941. Um, and then once we get this, lock it down, spend some points elsewhere, uh, perhaps on some infantry or some other units somewhere else. I could actually consider getting a Dishkim. So this is the thing, Mortar. I don't think, well, we could use a Mortar. But then the yeah, Ampumalet's actually really fun. The yeah, Ampumalet is hilarious. I used it in a multiplayer game yesterday. Well, versus AI, but still. And that thing is just a meme machine. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll take a look here. We can get Shock Infantry. That sounds kind of cool. So maybe we'll save some points and take a look. Ooh, shock infantry is just body armor stacked. Oh, that is okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then what else do we have? We can get guards rifles. Uh, and then what is this? Veteran tank hunters, I think, is what that is. Yeah, okay. Well, let's. What, what did the guards rifles look like? Guards rifle, uh, machine gun, SVT, 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 Mosin, 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 PPSH. Okay. Well, with the drum, that's not bad. And then what do we get after that? We get Assault Sappers, Veteran Riflemen. Let's take a look at all these guys. So Assault Sappers are down here. So two, okay, PTRS, AVT, PTRS, AVT, no helmets, so those are interesting. PPSH, 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 PPSH. Two, wow, okay, the Machine Gunners are the Medics, interesting. Veteran Riflemen is the one upgrade above that. Mosin, Mosin, Mosin. Okay, that doesn't really feel like an upgrade. Although you do get a bazooka, that's a big... Well, that's actually not a bad upgrade. You just lose a lot of automatic firepower to go to a bazooka. And then 13th guards, we get SVT, carbine, 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 SVT, 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 machine gun two times, a PTRS, wow, with a PPS-43. Okay, that's not bad. Those are, are going to be high level, yeah, they're high quality troops. But they don't they only have one machine gun. Um, and then might as well check it to black jackets just because we're here right now. They would be right here. So Marines, SVT, 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 PPSH drum, two machine guns. That's awesome. And then a couple of carbine SVTs, which also actually their stats are a little less good than I thought. So 13th guards, definitely the best. Although I haven't taken a look at the Osnas units yet. Osnas. Okay. Just a bunch of PPSHs, like legit, just PPSH at the butthole. With a suppressed Nagant. Okay, but none of these are... They're all stick... Oh, no, that's not true. There's, like, what? Actually, one, two, three... Like, four drum mag boys and four stick mag boys, I think? Or can I not do math? Is it ten people? I don't know. Maybe it's four to... It's probably four to four to six. That kind of makes sense to me. Just based on the numbers. But, so, a little less cho choice here than if you're playing as the Germans. We gotta take a look at one more unit, which is the paratroopers. PPSH, SVT, 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 PPSH, 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 AVT. Okay, so that's weird unit. No machine gun, very offensive aimed of just fully automatic or semi-automatic rifles and weapons. But I think what we could do is just save money and then perhaps I haven't even looked at the Oh, there's two shock infantries. Okay. Take a look at these mountain troopers. But there's two shock infantry. There's, okay, this is a small squad. Okay, that's not worth it at all. And the mountain rifles have probably carbines. Yeah, PPSH. Okay, so again, just an assault squad. And then the motorized unit is just a regular infantry unit, I think, in a truck. Not even a half track. That would have been, you know, like one of those M3A1 
um, lent lease half tracks, but doesn't look like that's going to happen. So we are going to, I think, probably just save those three points and figure out if we want them on defenses later or if we want to put them on some better infantry or honestly, we can get a KV-1. That would not be bad. Although I do kind of want to get a T-28 because I just think it's an hilarious tank. So let's end up getting a T-28 and throw that into... It's only three, 400 monies too. Uh, is it going to fit in there? Oh, it is. Okay, well, that's great. I think we can get rid of this T-26 next. We can probably just switch the crew out a little bit. So put some of this crew into T-28 and then get rid of the T-26 with the machine guns next game. Uh, get us some money back. Uh, so let's pick a uh, campaign. Oh, right, we're running out of one. So that's pretty easy. Let's save and let's go. All right, you're just joining us here at the uh, final seconds of prep time. The mod um, that allows for uh, different units in Conquest and more upgraded units and stuff like that also gives you a five minute timer instead of defenses, which I personally am really a big fan of. I think that the vanilla game gives you not enough time, to be honest, to really defend. So I'm happy that this mod does, which is great, because it just gives you a little bit more time. Um, now, the thing is, there was actually a Zis here already, uh, or an F-22. Uh, I think there's actually more on the map, like they're just sort of uh, wrecks of a previous battle or something like that. Uh, but what I did was I used a 228 to run over the one that was in this gun pit. You can see the wreck of it here, and I put my own in there. I thought that was a pretty good idea. Uh, basically just giving myself some extra cover. Uh, and, uh, you know, not having to worry about, um, you know, finding a better position for it. I even gave it some extra sandbags just for the hell of it. But I tested it can apparently shoot just over this ridge, which is great. Uh, sniper, we'll put you prone here on hold fire. You'll be sort of a recon boy. Uh, everyone has a position, which is great. This guy, okay, is the Panzer Buxia. The other guy here has the MP, I think. Yeah, he does. Uh, as I've really dug in on both the points, I have... Oh, the T-26 here with the gun is holding this back point with one AT rifle. T-28, T-26 with the machine guns. Actually, I should probably switch these people out. Now I'm thinking about it. Come on, come on, come on. In there. In there. Okay, just thought about that in time. <laughs> so we have some better crew in this T-28. I don't really know if it really matters anything, but you might as well try. Um, the T-228 is kind of a joke. I know it's, it counts as a medium tank, but it has only 30 millimeters of armor. Um, it's a little better than these T-26s, but like, I mean, it's, you know, it's still just a, it's a very light medium tank. Looks like here we're coming, so we can have our T-28 here with all of the machine gun turrets, which is great. We got two here, one here, and I think it also has a rear machine gun, so we can get three machine guns facing the enemy. And if anything comes across as open field, we have our sniper here as sort of a pre-recon. Uh, we might have to... I don't know what he was aiming at. Oh. That's a bunch of Oslegion in there. Let's turn him around and just have him hold. Oh, armor behind me? Okay, that is very surprising. I am very surprised and worried that there is a armor behind me. Okay, we knocked one of the crew in there. It's very disconcerting that they came from where I came from. Like, they literally spawned from, uh, okay. It's a little, a little disconcerting here, to be honest with you. Because, uh, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Oh, he, they, he knocked out. Nope, that wasn't good enough, though. Okay, yep. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, anti tank. Start repairing. Hold, hold. Or I guess we can charge at him, maybe. Guy on the road there. This is a little frustrating. Is it. Okay, I'm not sure why the guys are coming in from where I came from. Oh, that's gone. Thank God we got that. Okay, let's go pick up the anti-tank rifle, repositioner, machine gunner. Okay, I think we're that's very surprised by this. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this really caught me by surprise. Kubel wagon we can worry about later. Uh, pick up the PTRD. 
ammo for it. Hope I don't get sniped right now. Move. Okay. Knocked out one of the crew in there. Okay, we're gonna have to flank this thing, clearly. It's starting to HE me right now. We're just hip firing, moving on it. I don't think it has enough. I don't know why it's not turning around. Okay, that's good. That should be a mobility kill, and that's a uh, actual kill. Let's switch to a rifle here. Come on. Oh, that really should have done more damage. Oh, okay. Oof. Okay, this is not great. Not great. Not a great start. Uh, at least most of our stuff is still up. We did lose some units here. A little frustrating. We do have a medic that we can get uh, to work on some of these people that are down. Some of these people aren't in the trench for some, or in our foxholes for some reason. Okay, let's roll up our machine gun tank. There we go. That took a little bit too much time for me to realize. So I'm just very shocked by the fact that they came in right behind me here. Um, very shocked, to be honest with you. I did not... Did not expect that whatsoever. I, I didn't think there would be, be a guy running up um, like this because, you know, I, that's where I came from. That's where I originally spawned. I spawned over here. And for some reason, 10 seconds into the battle, there's a T-26 or a, a Panzer II behind me and a Panzer Jäger 1, so I'm really confused. But luckily, all the people who went down over here were rescuable. This means we gotta put them back in the foxholes. Our sniper. Wow, there's a lot of dead people here. These guys all got oh they can hear all got destroyed out in the open. We can repair T26 and hopefully uh, get someone to uh, man it. Let's give this guy extra machine and ammo that we don't need. Okay. Check this guy's body. T26 is mowing stuff down. That might be a vehicle engaging me down there. It's a Panzer II. It's a little scarier than uh, your, the T26 I have to fight it. Perfect. Uh, knocked out one of the crew. That's okay. We can work on that. It looks like one of the guys in front of here just died. Didn't get... He's not resible. That's okay. That's okay. It happens. As long as we can hold the line with the majority. Why are there guys in the same foxhole? Look at it. These guys are to each other for some reason. AI is like, hey, we want some of that. T20, T28 can now look just over. It will like run over this tent here. If we can. Or we'll just run through it. Either way. Don't really care how we deal with it. As long as we do. Sniper. I kind of would love to knock out a machine gunner with this guy, but this might just be a regular... Oh, tank behind me. That's a... Oh, that's not good. Yep. That's not good at all. So we need to... Oh, okay. T-28. Can my thing not turn around? What are you doing here, dude? <laughs> this thing is just destroying me. I think it's got that twin Panzer laugh, doesn't it? Okay, thank god we were ready for it, but not really because we just lost a bunch of people. Luckily, all of them healable, but that was not good. Not good at all. And this T26 isn't repaired yet, but we're getting it repaired, so hopefully we'll just man it and then we'll turn this way. Um, I kind of didn't expect people to come from that way. I expected people to, uh, well, mostly come from the southwest but not from this main road but i think that was this was the twin yeah you can actually see it right here the turk are up really sky high you can see the twin um coaxial machine guns which that's why that uh, particular tank is so scary because it's got just double the firepower and then the, the damage overhaul mod just makes it <laughs> blast people away we gotta rescue all of these guys uh, okay come on come on hurry up machine gunner the rifleman up this guy at least is alive it's not great we definitely got uh ambushed hard by those tanks coming up the road don't keep this gun uh rotated this way because well clearly we don't know what the hell is coming our way 
Sniper. Actually, maybe we'll put the sniper back. Shooting at something. No, what it's shooting at? Or was that my T26? Or my um, T28? Might have been. I don't know what it shot at, though. Let's make sure all the guns are reloaded. Okay, we're good. This thing. Reload the turrets. Get it to repair. Needs a little bit of repairs. This T26 is almost up. And we actually managed to... Come on, get him, get him. We managed to get all of our wounded up here. So some guys obviously didn't go wounded. They just straight up died. But all the people who went down but not KIA... You got, we saved those guys, which is very important, I think. I'm not really sure why he's firing, but we can get someone out to repair it, which might be good. Let's actually swap him around, put him a little bit more forward. Okay, T26 is repaired. Let's get in it. Get in it, I said. And then uh, we definitely want this thing to be... Oh, it's tracked. Crap. Well, at least turn the gun around, I guess, suppose, you know. Hope, hope for the best with that. And then our medic. Go back. Vehicle repair that don't, might have been one of these. Or it might have been this T26. Still needs more repairs, it looks like. Might as well use the repair kits now. So I don't have to repair them out of the battle for money. Oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah. It's just totally... Totally destroyed that... No, don't tell me you're gone. Oh, they just kill, he killed all the, all the crew and it is gone. That's not good. We do have an anti-tank rifleman in here, don't we? Yes. I'm hoping... A Panzerbüchse, a little better. Okay, let's just see if we can snipe the crew out. Uh, crouch... Nice. One out of the three. Bounce. Keep up that fire rate. Come on. No. Nope. Start one of their rifle grenadiers. That's important too. Oh, I thought that was it. That was just the Kubelwagen in front of it, I think. That's a bounce. Come on. Come on. I gotta aim, like, I think between the turret. It's kind of hard to aim from this location. Though potentially, it looks like we may have destroyed something on it. I need to go get this last repair kit uh, from this uh, T26 and use it on the T28. Because it really needs some more repairs. That thing just got absolutely destroyed just now. Little annoying. I just... Uh, looked away for a second and then I honestly didn't expect a Panzer II to do that much da oh I just shot someone in front of the tank I didn't expect the Panzer II to be able to do that much damage to a um, to a T28 but I guess he just got me directly in the flank and uh, that just that doesn't have any armor so yeah Where's my machine gunner here? Oh, he's here. He's, why is he not doing anything? Oh, he needs ammo, doesn't he? Panzer II, hopefully it's being dealt with. We well, need ammo soon. Okay, here we go. So we'll give him some. Just two more, two more uh, drums or two more belts or pans, whatever you want to call it. Okay, T28. Let's get everyone to man... <laughs> this tank right here and hope that it does what I need it to. T26 turn around. I think we did damage it to Panzer II that was there. Medic, get him up. Looks like we lost the guy we just healed. Okay, get my get my snipers engaging. Let's reload HE and shoot these people out here. Oh, they got my machine gunner. That's not good. I don't think I can... Oh, I can get to that guy. I just have to get to his toes. Okay, T28. Okay, it's up. It's up and running, barely. Oh, we're losing a lot of guys in this front line here. This might be just an inch too low for me to shoot over, I think. 
No, that was effective. That was effective enough to stop them for a second. Medics are going in and out to heal. Another another kill by the 76 mil. Panzer two. Old HE. Or AP, I mean. I don't know why I said HE. I might have actually destroyed his gun. Perfect. That's very important kill. Ooh, I gotta say, I didn't expect this battle to already be kind of hard. I mean, this is definitely a little harder than I expected it to be. Thing I got, I got a sniper, and we're picking up all these. Come on, get him up. And we got all these machine gunners and stuff, but ammo wise, what's your situation here? Okay, that's what I needed. I needed another machine gun ammo guy to come over here. Oh, that is the actual machine gunner. That doesn't help. <laughs> that's not what I need to do. Okay, we're running low on ammo for some of these guys. Now, I guess the good thing is I do have an ammo box back here or an ammo truck so we can get in that. Sniper got a couple more kills, like three or four. Uh, put him back here. Okay, machine gunner currently just out of position just for a quick second. You can actually reposition this machine gunner. And then when he's got his boxes, we'll position him to go where the other guy was. There we go. Or pans, whatever you want to call them. Come on. Is that everything? All right, I think that's good. This guy, might as well get him back. Get him to be quickly resupplied. Switch these guys out again. Whew, okay, okay. I think we have managed to hold the line. Was it pretty? No. Did it work? What? What is this? Oh, that's definitely a bug. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think I have any more points left. Or I only have two waves, so I was wondering what the hell that button was. No, I think we did a good job. Our machine gunner here. Let's go back. Look over our sniper. If there's any... Uh, People to be sniped, it's gonna be right now. I mean, these are all just riflemen. We can focus for our leader, the SMG guy. There. Get some more infantry here. If there's any machine gunners, I would focus those, but it doesn't look like there's any. Oh, sniped him. <laughs> there we go. Reload, reload, aim. Yes, perfect. This guy is getting a bunch of kills now. That's great. Medic, get you up to the front. The T-28 is even doing some work. Looks like we got two men down. So let's get those up. This guy's totally out of ammo. He needs to go back to this ammo crate right here. There's definitely people back there. Sniper can get eyes on them. Aim... You're dead. Oh crap, Panzer II! I don't know if I can get him from here. That's a little frustrating. I think he just sniped... Oh no, my medic's still up. He just got one of my machine gunners. That's good. That's perfect. T-28. The only thing it does do good is the fact that it has one of those howitzer guns. And the howitzer gun, because it can fire in a small arc and actually get over some small inclines like that. So this is actually going pretty well. Uh, rifleman to the front. Reposition. Machine gunner, fall back a little bit. Sniper mans. I actually don't mind a sniper. I think he's doing a good enough job. Let's snipe some of these infantry that are here, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here, dude. Get the wet, get out of the way from this point. You can get, ooh, T28. Getting some more kills in. It just, we lost a lot of good infantry uh, that we had to put in. Oh, that's not good. Need to get both these guys up here. Oh, that's the medic. Let's get the medic up. ASAP. Come on, come on. We can get the medic up. Save him. Oh, they're coming now. T-28. Ooh, another triple. Sniper. Oh, that was perfect. That was like some RO2. Oh, yeah, we got the medic up just in time. Please tell me that worked. Please tell me we do not have to replace him. That's a lot of, it's a lot of research points, but it's decent money, decent ammo. Uh, the... the did he survive? He did. Nice. Okay, good. Whew. All right, I think it's time to make some room here in our tank tab because DT-26s are just 
they're not good enough. Uh, we can spend four points on KV1. I think that's awesome. And then we could potentially spend a point on a machine gun, 25 mil. Don't think we really need anything right now. So we'll save that one point. Don't really do anything with it. Uh, we will say goodbye to this T26. Take a look at how much a KV costs. Probably kind of expensive, I bet. Ooh, that's expensive. Okay. It's okay, though, because we can throw it in this... W Ooh, we can probably get rid... Well, we can get rid of this AT detachment. I mean, don't, don't need those guys anymore. Uh, we can heal up all the infantry, resupply everything that we need. And then KV-1 can not fit in here just yet. But a sniper could not fit in there. I don't want to move any of these units. Now, I'm thinking, does a T-26 really have to be here anymore? Because I don't think so. I think we can dismiss the T-26 and just have two tanks, especially the KV-1, is just going to be a behemoth at this point in the, the warfare. At this point, the behemoth of the KV is just going to be awesome. So I think we're going to end on the cliffhanger of the KV-1. In the next episode, we'll put this heavy tank to some very good use. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Love to see you in the next one. Cheers.